Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Send a Dream. I'm Ariel and I am here for a video about the Virgo new moon that's coming September 2nd, okay? First and foremost, I wanna say happy birthday to all the Virgos. It's Virgo season, yay! So happy birthday to all the Virgos. I actually have a Virgo uh, stellium and the stellium is basically three or more planets in one house. So I definitely have that and I definitely know all about that Virgo, the Virgo energy, okay? Um, I love Virgos, I love Virgo energy. It's almost like I have a second birthday, okay? Virgo, you know, represents, of course, as in health-wise, um, you know, the gut. It represents uh, the digestive system. Um, Virgo is all about health and, you know, the things that you put in your mouth and how we process that. Also, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So it's also how we communicate and how we process information, okay? Virgo is very analytical, okay? Very intelligent sign, okay? So that is what that's the energy that we're in right now we also have a partial um eclipse okay that's happening in virgo um virgo season okay i believe it's september 17 um that we're gonna have this uh, partial eclipse okay so virgo also represents the maiden okay it just represents you know just that organization that earth that earth energy that grounding energy okay um, organization all right if you find yourself you know watching this video or watching you know many of my other videos it's basically like your ancestors your guides are guiding you here okay it's nothing that I'm saying that you guys don't already know okay this is just confirmation okay this is just to organize your thoughts and just have more structure into your life okay speaking of organization and structure and whatnot I have my dream journal, okay? This is my author's copy, but I have my dream journal that is available on Amazon, okay? It's called Dream Journal by Lady Ariel, and you can purchase this on Amazon, okay? And those of you guys who dream, or even if you have a hard time dreaming, remembering your dreams, this book, just having it in your presence is going to help you organize your thoughts, organize, you know, the things that you are seeing in your dreams and whatnot, okay? Dreams are very, very important, okay? Yes, we do have things that go on in the physical world, but we need to be mindful of the things that are happening in the spiritual world, okay? Um, when you go to sleep, that's when you are able to download all your information from your God, your ancestor God, the Most High, the Divine, whatever it is that you, that you believe in, they, that's how they communicate with you. And they communicate with you through symbols and signs okay that's happening in your dreams so if you find yourself watching this video this is just a confirmation okay it's nothing that i'm telling you that is new it's nothing that i'm telling you that you don't already know intuitively i'm just here to remind you that's all i'm here to do it's the reason why you came on this channel it's the reason why you're watching me and it's the reason why you need to receive this message okay so i'm going to break down this video into the elements okay so you need to watch for your sun your moon and your rising element okay that's how i'm going to break it down so i'm going to put fire signs all in one water all in one air all in one and earth all in one hello earth signs earth elements okay we are going to start off with the earth element because it is virgo season so happy birthday again to all the virgos we are going to do virgos tauruses and the capricorns all right so if you have sun moon or rising in these elements you are going to listen for your sign okay we are going to go over your health your finance your career okay astrology you know helps us break all that down no i'm not you know clinically a provider or whatnot i am just blessed you know by the most high the divine the astral realm with this information and i'm here to give it to you okay if you feel like you know you have anything that's going on health wise or whatnot please you know speak to your provider to assist you okay but this will give you some kind of clarity we're gonna go over your health your finance and your career okay so starting with the virgos again happy birthday virgos this transit is going to be happening in your first house okay your first house is all about your self-identity okay how do you see yourself how do you show up into the world also how other people view you and perceive you as well so you might want to change your hair you want to might want to go for a different look you might just want to change you know your appearance just overall okay 
But one thing I want you to be mindful of, as always, just in general, Virgos, always pay attention to your digestive system, okay? Um, making sure, you know, you have good gut health, making sure seasonal, seasonally you're doing the detox, you're doing the cleanse, okay? Um, if your gut is unbalanced, your mind is going to be unbalanced, okay? So you want to make sure you have that on point. Like, you're one of those signs, you cannot skip a detox, you cannot skip and ignore, you know, what's going on with your gut health, okay? And with it being in your first house, okay, if Aries, the first house, you know, Aries rules, you know, like I said, the brain, the head. So you might feel some kind of mental fogginess if you are not taking care of your gut health, okay? Um, as far as career-wise, you know, this is a time to, you know, if you want to ask for that promotion, go ahead and do so. Or you might even be in an area in your field that you're just not happy, you're not content with at the moment, okay? And you want to change. This will be a good time for you to transition, okay? Get out of there. Um, find out what it is that you really want to do career-wise and take that leap of faith and go ahead and just do it, okay? You are that energy, that um, element of service, okay? So whether you're in the service industry or you're in the medical field or anything that has to do with service, that is your calling, okay? So go ahead. This is your confirmation. Just go ahead and tap in, okay? We're going to look at your finances to see what's going on with your finances, all right, for um, Virgos. So let's see what's going on with your finances, Virgos. Sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? Okay. There's been some trickery going on with your finances. Um, either you have been giving out too much. Someone has probably stolen from you. Um, things are going on behind your back as far as your finances. You're not paying attention to your finances. You're not paying attention to where your money is going, where you're investing. Something is funny about your finances. So be very vigilant about where your money is going to okay check your bank account check to see to make sure that you know extra funds extra money is not coming out of your account okay so that is what's going on with your finances okay clean that area up all right so that's all that i have for you all for virgo sun moon and rising all right now we're going to move on to the tauruses okay so hey taurus taurus sun moon and rising we are going to go over, you know, again, health, finances, and career for you, okay? So, Taurus, as far as health, you know, you want to make sure that, of course, you're always paying attention to your throat, your thyroid area, okay? That is your actual money maker. So, we're going to, you know, slide on through to the finances right quick. Your mouthpiece, your throat chakra is how you make your money. If you're not speaking up for yourself, that money is going to pass you by, okay? So, you must speak up okay this transit with the new moon is going to be transiting your fifth house okay your fifth house of romance fun children traveling and whatnot okay so speak up for what you want like what it is what is it that you want all right um let's see what's going on with your okay as far as health wise um you want to make sure you're paying attention to your heart okay your spine okay speaking your truth all right not holding on to anything that is causing you um any anguish okay um just being truthful okay and how you really feel about your relationship about you know um your personal life whatever you got going on this will be a good time for you to even journal okay on the things that you really want in your life okay that's what i have for you taurus like sun moon and rising okay now we're going to move on to the Capricorns. Hey, Capricorns, we are going to do your health, finance, and career, okay, um, for this new moon in Virgo, all right? Capricorn, this is going to be transiting your ninth house, okay, your ninth house of travel, okay, the things that deal with overseas investments and whatnot, okay, even higher education. Um, Capricorn, you always want to make sure that you've taken care of your bones, okay, your teeth. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, the ancestors, so that um, foundation, okay. Anything